Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdev. In the previous session, we have learned about the captured group and the non-captured group. And also we have learned about the back referencing. So here you will be able to see about this one slash one, these all back referencing. We have seen it. So let's try to see one more time about this one as this one is an important concept about look around and the groups thing. We have understood about this captured group and the non-captured group. But you may be having some little bit of uh, confusion regarding this back referencing thing. I will try to explain the scenario once again. So let's try to see it. For example, let's say that we are having some scenarios in such a way that C3, A1, B3, something like this we are having. Now here the rules for this one is we already know that letter followed by a number, letter followed by a number and a letter followed by a number. So for this one regular expression if you want to write. How we can write it? It's very simple. So it should be something like A to D. So we are following A to D. And another one is nothing but 0 to 5. Let's say. So this is the scenario. Now if you try to see here, we are having each match it is finding it is finding with a individual match. If you want to do, so here what I can do, I can mention it as a 3. Now none of the things are matching. Why? Because we need to group them together. So, okay fine let's group them together it should be a combination of a to d and 0 to 5 and now we are able to get 1 2 and 3 if you make it as a 2 so now we are able to get two matches here so grouping so these two matches now let's say that so here we are mentioning that so now this should be repeated two times instead of mentioning this one why can't we mention slash one here if you mention slash one here so this is not the scenario now this the matching is not appearing why because here slash one means the grouping. So this is the first group. So we are trying to take the first group here. Same thing. Here the scenario is it will not copy the pattern. Okay. It will not copy the pattern second time. But instead of this one what it will try to do is the text what it is matching be, be, because of this pattern it will copy that one. So that means the text that matching is the A5 for this one. And if you try to have same A5 here see now you are able to get a match. So this is the thing I want to explain to you. Slash one means the back referencing of this one. So it will not check with the pattern. It will check with the text that actually matched with this pattern. So this is the thing I want to explain to you clearly. Clearly. And here, so mentioning this one and mentioning this one is different. This is the thing I want to explain. Let's say that I am having an HTML element. Okay. This is a strong tag. Let's try to mention it and here i will be closing it with a strong tag okay and here I, let's say i am also having an italic tag let's write some right yeah. so now here we are having a strong tag and an i tag so now i want to find these elements so how can i find this one <coughs> let's try to write the regular expression for this one so we have already seen about the greedy nature and the lazy nature how to find this one I will try to show you about this one back referencing thing. Now first it should start with anchor link. And here the scenario is. So whatever the thing it is starting. It should end it with here. So that means the common scenario is. So here this one with a closing angle bracket. And here this one with a closing angle bracket should match. Here also the same thing. So let's try to do the type of scenario. So here we are able to see that strong with a closing angle. And here the strong with a closing angle. It should match. And here whatever the text it may contain it can, it, it can contain it's not a problem. So let's try to write it. First we are trying to write open angle bracket. And here whatever may be the text we can have. Okay. So let's try to take it as slash w. Okay. One or more. So I can mention it as like this. And it should be a like this. Okay. So let's try to group it this one. So I am trying to group this one. Okay. So it can be a word. One or more. And here I am trying to make it as a closing tag and making this one as a one group. Now let's try to write here. So whatever the thing is here it may contain. It may contain any word. Or otherwise space also. So let's try to make it as any word. And also a space. Okay. So this should be repeated one or more times. So I am trying to write it here. This should be repeated one or more times. Now it could be a word or a space. Which could be repeated one or more times. Now again, I need to have something like closing tag 
and the same thing so the whatever the first group we are having here it should be repeated with the same literal text so what i can use here i can use the slash one sorry slash one so instead of slash one see now we are able to match the strong if you are having some some other gibberish uh, so, so here we are having a strong and here we have we are having a spelling mistake so this one will not match so that means whatever the element we are trying to open so we are trying to close it here with the same element so this is how we are trying to make it so now we have found an exact match for an element with a closing with a closing tag and an in tag whatever the text it may contain you can have it so here also the i tag so here it is trying to match it so this is how we can write the regular expression with the back referencing so this is how we will be writing so here what we have did we have opened the angle bracket slash w plus one or more times and we have grouped it here so we are matching with any word or any space character and one or more times we are repeating so that we can have anything here okay so you cannot say the star and all those things you cannot ask me like that so or otherwise we can use the period operator or anything like that. so let's keep it like this okay let's keep it as simple thing so if you tell that you, you it will be having star uh, special characters like like this so these things will not match you know right slash w means it will match anything so now so the so now here we are closing with an uh, angle brackets like this and we are repeating this one so we are trying to learn about the back character thing that is the thing i want to explain you so this is the, what about the back referencing of this one so this is very important concept you need to learn this important concept that back referencing the groups we have learned about the captured groups and the non-captured groups and also we have learned the back referencing of the groups using the slash one and if you don't want this one so for example let's say that so we are using the slash one and if you use something like question mark column here see now the match has went away so the match is not uh, so the there is no match here why because so now we are making a group here and but we are telling that it is a non-captured group so that means it cannot be captured using slash one or something like that so if you want a if you want a group that should not be a non-captured then you can mention question mark colon so that you cannot reference that one using like this back referencing so if you want to reference that one back referencing means you can use something like this so you can use a capture group so by default it is a capture group you can use it something like this so that you can use it with the reference slash one or slash two anything so second group third group like this you can use it so right now we have only one group that is nothing but a first group so we are trying to match the literal so literal text not the pattern so it is it will not repeat the pattern it will try to match that match that thing so this is all about this capture group non capture groups and back referencing to the group hope you understood about this one so this is very important you need to understand it if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you